Let's start with the car that stunned the guests of SEMA, an exclusive exhibition of cool cars and equipment. At first glance, it looks like an ordinary Ford F-250, but it turns into a workshop on wheels in a quick and easy way. The funny thing is that the idea came to the masters spontaneously when they were renovating a kitchen and saw a cabinet with a flip door. The new fenders are handmade from fiberglass. The headlights in the upper light panel were created by custom car shops. The engine wasn't ignored either. The standard 409 cubic inch Ford Power Stroke was improved, and now it produces 850 horsepower. And of course, they upgraded the suspension too. A special system of stabilizers reduces roll and shock absorption from Fox Factory will provide a comfortable ride, even with heavy loads. Peugeot is already more than 200 years old, and it still surprises not only the French, but also the world public. The French manufacturer brought the Inception concept car to the CES 2023, and the solutions used in this model will appear in production cars from 2025. Obviously, the Inception has electric drive. Engineers didn't nickel and dime and installed two engines with a total capacity of 680 horsepower. The battery capacity is 100 kilowatt hours, enough for about 497 miles. And the designers went all out. Instead of a steering wheel, there's something similar to a joystick. The windows are made with NASA technologies, and the moldings on doors are able to show messages. Plus, there's an autopilot system, and the wireless charging system will give you 112 miles in just 5 minutes. Stop! Hammer time! This amphibious vehicle, based on the Humvee military vehicle, also known as the Hummer, bursts into our selection. This engineering marvel is called the H1 Panther, and it is the most versatile vehicle that could ever be imagined, experts believe. See it for yourself. 70 miles per hour on the highway, 40 miles per hour on the water, a 395 horsepower Chevrolet LS3 engine, all-wheel drive, automatic transmission, shifts between water and land modes in less than 20 seconds, and a 10-inch ground clearance. The production of these cars is quite complicated, as experts have to take the original Humvee, disassemble it, and then remake it practically from scratch. One vehicle takes about 2,000 man-hours, hence the price of $465,000. This car has already visited some racetracks and even set a few new records. For example, it beat the Volkswagen ID-R with its 680 horsepower engine. Meet the English single-seat electric car, which perfectly illustrates the saying, good things come in small packages. The car weighs less than 2,204 pounds. Engineers used a carbon fiber monocoque with built-in lithium-ion cells. One charge lasts for an hour. The model has a rear-wheel drive and twin engines, and it goes from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.5 seconds. But the coolest thing is the system of active ground effects. Air is pumped out from underneath, so the car sticks to a track, and it completely matches its name, which translates from Irish as thunderstorm. A hand-built masterpiece can be read on the official Rolls-Royce website. And believe us, they're being modest. The car body is created from scratch, according to an individual project, and the whole series called Boat Tail consists of only three vehicles, and each with a unique interior trim. It's no accident that the construction of this particular Rolls-Royce took four years. The convertible is 19.4 feet long, and it has a 571 horsepower V12 engine under the hood. They made a section in the back for picnic stuff, 
and it looks like it'd be more luxurious than a meal at a high-end restaurant. Even the fridge is incredible. It can quickly chill champagne to the perfect temperature of 43 degrees Fahrenheit. There's also a sunshade and tables. All of this is controlled by five electronic units. By the way, the owners of this model are a married couple with a large Rolls-Royce collection, so it ended up in good hands. The price is somewhere between $25 and $28 million. The Nikola NZT Electric Buggy continues the selection. And no, it has nothing to do with the pills from the movie Limitless. Although, in a sense, it also gives you limitless possibilities. NZT is an acronym that means Net Zero Toll. It's curious that this buggy was developed by the Nikola Corporation, which was named after the legendary scientist, just like Elon Musk's Tesla. The vehicle has four electric motors with a total of 590 horsepower, and one charge is enough for 150 miles. Ground clearance is 12 inches, and the standard model includes a 13-inch display and the Rockford Fosgate sound system to make driving off-road more fun. The price is around $80,000. Do you think Elon Musk should be worried? Well, if you don't need incredible speed, off-road capability, and other gimmicks, you should pay attention to this compact urban electric car. It's built in China, and its price is around $26,000. For this money, you get a four-seater car with a range of 180 miles on a single charge and a 68-horsepower engine. The top speed is 65 miles per hour. A smart assistant with adaptive cruise control and intelligent parking options will help you control the car, which is only 9.5 feet long. Traffic is a problem, not only for drivers, but for countries as a whole. Don't you believe us? According to 2018 statistics, each driver in Germany spent more than 120 hours in traffic jams, costing the country about 5 billion euros. One option to save yourself from traffic jams is these three wheelers. They combine the familiar comfort of a car with the maneuverability of a motorcycle. At the moment, the manufacturers offer 62 miles on a single charge and a top speed of 50 miles per hour. The vehicle can hold two passengers and their luggage with a maximum combined load of 1,100 pounds. There's also a single-seat cargo version. The load capacity is the same, but the cargo compartment is more convenient. The vehicles are made in the Netherlands, and the price is around $11,000. One of the theories about the origin of the term hot rod says that it comes from hot roadster. The culture of these cool cars goes back to the 1930s. They became especially popular and widespread after World War II. And even today, hot rod lovers are doing well. For example, this car known as the Hirohata Merc was sold last year for almost $2 million. And this hot rod exists for now only in the virtual world. The designer writes that he tried to make the car as convincing as possible. For example, it took him a lot of time to work on the tread. Also, the detachable roof and minimalist design catch the eye. It looks interesting, so maybe he should send this work to a custom car shop. Let's take a ride in a car with a complicated story. It successfully reached serial production, but three months later, the conveyors were stopped. One of the reasons was its expensive assembly and hence the price, $272,000 for a car called the Lightyear Zero. After that, the team switched their attention to the Lightyear 2, which will be simpler and cheaper. But what is so interesting about the Lightyear Zero, and why was it so expensive? The fact is that there were solar panels built right into the body. That, in good weather, would add 44 miles of range in a day. 
A full battery lasted 388 miles. The engine had 177 horsepower and you could reach up to 100 miles per hour. According to the media, the Lightyear 2 will go into production in 2025 and the price will go down to $43,500. A fully-fledged presentation should be expected this summer. Next on our list is this development for agriculture. These compact vehicles can be used to transport tools, fertilizer, crops and other cargo. It weighs 661 pounds, has a load capacity of 2200 pounds, and thanks to the rear platform, you don't need a trailer in many cases. The vehicle is propelled by in-wheel electric motors, and a single charge is enough for 6 hours or 186 miles. And, in addition to cutting emissions, the near-silent electric powertrain would likely minimize disturbance to farm animals, one review noted. But, the manufacturers should think of adding some more resistant tires. World-famous companies also have something to surprise us. In 2005, at the North American International Auto Show, Jeep showed the Jeep Hurricane. When you read its description, you might think that it's some kind of joke. Two independent V8 Hemi engines for a combined 670 horsepower, the ability to turn all the wheels independently of each other, and no doors, no roof, just two seats. As a result, this miracle of engineering is able not only to move sideways, but also to turn around on the spot. However, it's not simple to climb in it. Not only are there no doors, but the ground clearance is 14.3 inches. But its specs are not bad. The Jeep goes from 0 up to 60 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds. As a result, the Hurricane received many awards and was noted by the press, but it remains a concept. It's a pity, as it would be a nice car to park. <laughs> 